Hard to believe it's been 50 years. A pandemonium then? Two Chinese pandas offered to the United States. And it continues to this day. Adorable. <laughs> Kids, adults. Oh, he's so cute. All of us stop dead in our tracks when we see a panda, often sitting like a baby. I eat bamboo. Everyone knows that, Malia. <laughs> um, They're from China. Well, everyone probably knows that. Too. We know that now, but 50 years ago, we didn't know much about pandas or even China. It's been so long. Take us back to that Cold War relationship. How frosty was it? Well, there were uh, 25 years of no communication. None. Between, no communication between uh, China and uh, and, and the United States. But the so-called bamboo curtain that separated our nations found an unexpected opening when President Richard Nixon and his wife visited China. On the table, the First Lady, Pat Nixon, saw a tin of cigarettes. So she points to the cylinder on which there is an image of a panda and says to Joanne Lai, gosh, aren't they cute? And he replies, I'll give you some. And just like that, panda diplomacy began. The zoo here has since hosted a total of eight pandas. So we had Ling Ling and Xing Xing, Tian Tian and Mei Shang, Tai Shan, Bao Bao, Bei Bei, and now Chao Qiji. Beyond the two million yearly visitors, every day more than 90,000 people click online to watch the 41 panda cams, capturing their human-like antics. And when it snows and this happens, it goes viral. Over the last five decades, advances in caring for these bears, including laser treatment for 24-year-old Tian Tian's arthritis. The honey water is a distraction to keep Tian Tian in one place. What is the laser doing? So it's emitting a light that basically when I describe it to people, I call it sort of like jump-starting a car. 50 years ago, artificial insemination wasn't even considered, but it is now. Together, veterinarians in the U.S. and China have helped pandas once endangered to thrive. A newborn is about the size of a stick of butter. Pandas are one of those species that were, they were at risk of being lost. Um, and so they were on the edge. They've been brought back um, a lot quicker in some ways than we expected to a population now that there's hope for. Xiao Qiji conceived that way and born during the pandemic. His name voted on by the public translates to appropriately little miracle. This is a great way to come here and um, be distracted for a little while I'm reminded again that there is still good in the world. And kind of important, especially right now when you look at the conflicts. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. 50 years ago, there were fewer than 1,000 pandas in the wild. Today, with all the advances, more than 1,800 plus another 600 in zoos. Uh, three that we have here right now. Look at that. Um, if you're wondering, when China gave us the pandas, what did we give them? Well, we gave them musk oxen. And yes, uh, they look like they smell. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, that wasn't okay. a fair trade. We got the yeah, here. Terrible trade deal. <laughs> 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 like a uh, Carrie, I think we won all that deal, guys. Yeah. Congratulations, Carrie, on that great toss. Yeah. Which panda is that behind you again? The one that, that's enjoying the uh, the breakfast? That is Mei Shang. Am I right? Yes. Wait, no, he could tell us oh, anything. Sao so she G. So she G. Here we go. Thank you, know, you um, Thank you, I'm Carrie. I'm doing these stories about Pandas Guy because I just want to pander to you. Thank you. Oh, That's Alice, thank you for that part. Yeah. There you go. Oh, Very good. That was pretty cool. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.